Hey, what's up guys? It's Mario back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys on how you guys could buy your first virtual land in the metaverse. I'm going to specifically talk about how to buy your first virtual land on the sandbox. This is one of the metaverses out there, uh, crypto based Ethereum blockchain metaverse. Uh, so I'm going to go over all the details guys, step by step on how I did that, how it was able to transfer my cryptocurrency, my Ethereum from Coinbase uh, to the MetaMask wallet, and then use that to buy my virtual land on the OpenSea, which is an NFT marketplace, the most common one where you could buy NFTs. Now, as a reminder, guys, land, digital land in the metaverse, it is a form of NFT. It is an NFT. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go over the detail, guys, in this video. So if you have any questions, hey, don't forget to ask questions down below in the YouTube comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. Let me share my screen, guys, and let's get started, okay? So what I'm going to do, guys, really quickly, I am going to share my screen. And uh, so I kind of show you all that information, okay, guys? So what I want to do first, guys, is talk about Coinbase. Uh, because you do need crypto. You need a crypto to buy uh, digital assets, crypto. And again, digital land is, a, is, is based, it's an NFT. So it's crypto. So you actually need Ethereum. So you need an exchange to buy that. Coinbase is the, one of the most, uh, my recommended one. Uh, uh, there's of course Binance and, and there's other, other uh, crypto exchanges, but that one that I recommend um, is actually Coinbase. And I do use Coinbase myself. Uh, and if you look at, uh, go to the YouTube comments, I do have a link down below. Uh, so if you are looking to open an account, hey, follow that link. And if you do buy $100 worth or more of crypto, you do get $10 of free Bitcoin. So like I said, you do need Ethereum uh, to buy uh, uh, crypto land. So of course, once you buy Ethereum on your Coinbase, uh, you do need to uh, transfer it to a digital wallet, a wallet that it enables you to, to, uh, to uh, log into um, with what they call blockchain apps. So MetaMask is actually one of the most common, most famous uh, wallets. Uh, it's an extension to your web browser. And this is a crypto wallet and it's a pretty much a gateway to blockchain apps. Uh, so this wallet will allow you to log into the sandbox, uh, excuse me, to the, uh, yeah, the sandbox and also to the OpenSea. And you could actually log into OpenSea and the sandbox and other uh, metaverses uh, using the MetaMask wallet. So once you download it, uh, you know, you could download it and, and you know, whether it be on your uh, Chrome, iOS or your Android phone, you can even do uh, Firefox, even Braver Edge and download there and work there. So once you download it, pretty much looks like this. You want to add the extension, of course, add it right here to, to the, you know, pin it to as an extension to your browser. Once you pin it, it should look pretty much like this. And once you have that, it should pretty much look like this, guys. Uh, now, this is my Sandbox uh, MetaMask wallet. Uh, one thing I want to mention, guys, is when you transfer money from Coinbase to your MetaMask wallet, this is the address you want to transfer it. So once you log in, once you open up a MetaMask account, uh, you copy this address. Now, again, this is my address. Uh, so uh, you don't want to do this one, but you want to do your own address. So copy and paste this address. And then when you go on your Coinbase, you, you click on when you go on to uh, transfer or transfer uh, Ethereum out. You want to put that address. And once you go through that transfer, uh, it should come here. Now, I did deposit 0.5 Ethereum from my MetaMask account to my, uh, uh, excuse me, from my Coinbase to my MetaMask account. Uh, so I did purchase it. And actually, this is activity. I did buy 0.33. Uh, I did buy a, uh, see if you guys can see OpenSea right here. That means I did buy the NFT. Now, I did it at a pretty good price. So I'm not going to lie. I got it at a pretty good price. I only paid 0 0.33 Ethereum on the digital land that I bought, uh, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna show you guys now what exactly I bought. So I pretty much bought the sandbox, guys. So this is the sandbox. This is, um, this is pretty much my, my um, you could say, uh, my account. Uh, this is my, invent I guess this is my inventory, my, this is my profile. And this is the land. This is pretty much the land that I bought. Uh, and if you go to view maps right here, uh, it will take you straight to the land that I bought. So I actually bought this one. And the reason why I bought this land was because it's close to, it's pretty much, it's a premium land. Well, for one, it's a premium land. Uh, so you can see it is a premium land. And what a premium land does, it allows you to, uh, what you could say, 
it allows you to, to pretty much, uh, um, it, premium lands pretty much come with other NFTs, like other crypto assets. And it comes with this, this one pretty much. It comes with four of these NFTs. So once uh, the sandbox goes live, including with my land, I'm going to have these characters, these NFTs. Uh, actually, let me, uh, let me uh, click on it really quick so I can kind of show you guys more details of, of what this land is all about. So yes, so be, with this land, premium land includes these assets. So I get these uh, little uh, digital assets. These are also NFTs. Now, I'm not sure I'm a, I'm a, if I'm, I am able to sell them separately, but I know they come with, the, with the, the, the land. So once the land goes live, these characters will be pretty much popping up on my, on my land and probably walking around uh, and stuff like that. So here's a little preview of what these little characters do. Uh, it looks like this is like a little grooving, good, lucky bear, uh, good luck bear. So I, I kind of like that. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So that's, that's pretty much the land that I got guys. Uh, so um, again, uh, the way you do it is once you create an account, first of all, you do need to create an account in the sandbox. Actually, this is one of the digital assets. So once you create an account in the, in the uh, sandbox, you know, you can go to maps here and and then start looking at where you want to buy land or what land is for sale so this is pretty much the, the sandbox world uh it's a pretty big world and every single little block or, or, or little square represents a net land parcel uh that's either uh already bought or or owned by someone else and things like that and you could and when you buy multiple of these little blocks you could actually turn it into an estate and you could create all sorts of stuff so um so that's so that's something I kind of want to mention. But again, if you want to buy these land NFTs, you have to uh, you have to go to OpenSea. So when you click here and buy land, it pretty much takes you straight to OpenSea. And OpenSea, like I said, is a digital. Uh, it's pretty much it. It's a marketplace where you could buy crypto assets. Uh, now some of this digital land is actually selling for very expensive, for millions of dollars. Now this one is selling for almost a hundred thousand uh, Ethereum, which uh, 100,000 Ethereum is uh, got to be a couple million dollars, to be honest. So, and, and actually, if I, if I were to do the math, I'm, I, I kind of have the, the little converter right here to show you guys. Let me see, 100,000 Ethereum. How many? One, two, one, two, three. Yep. Um, yeah, it's 258 million. So, <laughs> you know, 100,000 Ethereum is like 258 million dollars. So. This was selling for that, but again, that is that is a little bit ridiculous. Um, you know what I what I usually do is uh, what I but when I'm looking for buy land, what I usually do is uh, I look at recently sold to see what some of the land has sold already. So I like that little tab recently sold. So if you guys can see that, these are some of the NFTs, digital assets. Uh, again, very similar to the one that it was included already in my land. Uh, that's why it's called a premium land. But this is some of the stuff that's recently sold. Now this one sold for zero point three nine nine. Um, this one sold for actually 8.8 .8 Ethereum. So just to kind of go how much 8.8 .8 Ethereum is, uh, that sold for like $22,000. So some of this land is worth a lot. This one sold for two Ethereum. Uh, this one sold for 2.1 uh, 2 Ethereum. Uh, this one sold for 0 0.77, 0 0.399, 0 0.422, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, now, fortunately, mine, I was able to get mine at 0 0.33. Uh, so that was quite nice. Uh, and I could kind of show you guys uh, my, my pretty much my profile. This is my profile. Um, again, it's connected to my, my, uh, my MetaMask account where I bought the, uh, the, uh, the Sandbox uh, digital asset. So this is pretty much it. This is it. So if I were one to sell this, uh, this land asset, I could sell it on, open, on OpenSea. Uh, if you guys could see, I've already got some bids already. Someone's bid, bid at 0 0.212 uh, wrapped, wrapped Ethereum, which is pretty much similar to Ethereum in terms of price, which if you guys could see the dollar amount is worth around $544. I bought it for 0 0.33. If you guys could see here, um, I, I bought it actually um, on, was it Sunday? Uh, uh, three days ago. So three days ago. Uh, actually that was Saturday. So I bought this on Saturday for 0 0.33. I did hit the ass. I did buy whatever the, uh, the, uh, 
this guy actually actually bought it from this guy. He was selling it for 0 0.33. There was someone who had a pretty nice uh, bid on it, but took it away. And I ended up, I ended up buying it for 0 0.33. So I, I do, I did buy that. And, and, and there are some, uh, some, I guess you could say some, um, there are some, um, some bids out there. Like, do you have these bids right here uh, for, for some people right here? And if I were to sell it, if I want to sell it for 0 0.212, all I have to do is click accept and go to the process and I could sell it back to them. Of course, I'm not going to accept 0 0.212. I am going to hold this for a long term. Actually, somebody bought it for, well, actually, yeah, I mean, I'm going to hold this for the long term, guys. Uh, for me, this is a long term asset. I do want to hold it for a long term. So I'm not, I'm not planning on selling anytime soon. And I'm actually, if anything, I'm planning to buy even more. So um, again, if you want to know, uh, again, if you look at this, this is a land coordinates, land is a negative 128.9. If I go back to my, to my uh, what do you call it, to, to my profile on the sandbox and I click on inventory, again, you guys will see it again here under lands. Uh, and here it is again, you know, here it is again. Now, so this pretty much, this land is connected to my wallet, to my MetaMask wallet and my MetaMask address. So I'm using the same address to log into the sandbox and then the same address to log into my OpenSea account. And that's why you're able to see it. So just to kind of go over you, overview what LAN is. So a LAN is a digital piece of real estate in the sandbox metaverse and that players can buy to build experiences on top of. Once you own a LAN, you'll be able to populate it with games and assets. Each LAN is unique, non-fungible token, again, NFT, line on a public Ethereum blockchain. So this is digital assets, guys. So what I like about owning this land is like I said, like here, like pretty much what this, this guy, uh, what this creator mentioned is you're able to pretty much uh, create games and assets, uh, build experiences on top of this land. And that's what I plan to do. I actually plan to do something with this uh, and maybe collect some more and maybe have a, 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 a pretty much a, a, a an estate. You know, once you collect several lands next to each other, it's, it's considered an estate. So, and like I mentioned, guys, my land is pretty much located right here. It's negative 128.9. It's close to the sandbox right here. Um, and and I'm actually looking forward to when the sandbox goes live and we're able, I'm able to play the sandbox. So I'm definitely uh, looking forward to that. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if you, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions on how to buy your own digital land. Again, these are assets, guys. These are NFTs. They're worth real money. Ethereum, again, you convert that to US dollars. But this is real crypto. This is using utilizing crypto and having a utility. So Ethereum has a utility. You could buy assets, digital assets. You could buy NFTs, art. Now you can buy digital land in the metaverse and pretty soon you're going to be able to create, uh, you know, create uh, assets, games inside your land and make revenue out of it. You know, you know, just like pretty much land, you know, like buying properties, buying commercial real estate, stuff like that. So if you have any questions, hey guys, let me know down below in the YouTube comments. I uh, hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to YouTube comments. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.